Good afternoon, this is Chase for us all. Today we're going to be talking about spirit penetration and basically the new item that came to the game, the silver rim glasses. They're pretty useful. They have spirit penetration plus 20. They make like this, you know, big difference against fighting these high level spirit users such as um, Brain. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to see how it compares to the Galmia Co. And we'll, we'll take a little bit comparative to the Soul of La Massa and see how it works. And we'll see how it's useful because this is in response to what Dr. Diggs said, how the Galmia Coat is just strictly better than this item. And we're going to see these situations where spirit penetration is actually very useful. So let's get into that. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the silver glasses and we can see that the, the big thing there has spirit penetration plus 20. But the one we want to talk about though is the AIM version. That is the best one, especially for Katadama wielders, which is what we're going to see in this. It has accuracy plus 26, which is great for those users basically who are using non-guaranteed hits. Katadama wielders have it, but not their best moves do not. And so that's kind of important to talk about, especially with new upcoming Kadama wielders that we'll be seeing soon. So let's take a look at this one. So she has basically two skills that help her with um, generating spirit penetration. Basically, it's Heart Like Needles and Rebel Intention. They don't stack, but uh, she can get up to 70 given this item, which is really good. Uh, but that spirit penetration normally from Heart Like Needles from Rakata Dama main job is going to help with that. And it's going to get her to at least 40 on average. Uh, this is the new unit that's going to come out more. Uh, she only has the same ability because she's also a Rakata Dama wielder. Um, and will get spirit penetration plus 40. She also has magic resistance penetration in her master ability, which makes her very interesting to be able to have both of these. And we will take a look at her more specifically when we look at damage calculations. There's also um, Zombie Ryryu, this limited time unit. He has Sharp Mind, which is a passive that gives Spirit Penetration plus 40, which is very interesting because now he can get up to 60, which is over half. So we're going to see some interesting stuff there. Uh, but he's not the only one. Uh, there's also Elshura. Elshura has plus 60 altogether with the glasses. Uh, due to Sharp Mind, and we also get that from Howlet. Howlet is actually very unique in that he's going to have 80 uh, native with the T with not the TMR, but the Silver Ring Glasses. So that's really, really interesting. We're going to especially look at him. Unfortunately, he's 90, not level 99 and not level 120 yet, but uh, just to see what kind of damage he can bring compared to using uh, the Soul of the Mass in his case. Unfortunately, Rune Knights cannot uh, use the um, Galmia Cloak, so it would have been interesting to see that. The last one I want to bring up is basically a unit that hasn't been released yet. This is her 99 version because the 120 version, I believe, hasn't come out yet in JP, so they're probably going to come out at the same time. And she also has Sharp Mind and Spirit Penetration uh, from her skill heart like needles because she's also a kadama wielder uh, so she can get 80 basically after her first turn for three turns so it's a very unique character just like howlet and i'm very interested to see uh, what she can bring to the table against spirit penetration and we're going to see that right now so again, like I said, we're going to take a look at these four characters. We're going to look at the Silver Room Glasses and the Galmia Coat. We'll also look at the Soul of the Massa. And we're going to use this character, Rain, because Rain, I think, is the most representative of someone with high spirit. Uh, I didn't even max out his spirit. There are ways to max it out just a little bit more. This is kind of just like what I would think is an average Rain that you would see. Uh, you might see some differences, especially with magic resistance, because I put on um, uh, Fenrir as his vision card. Um, Fenrir as his vision card gives magic resistance, and so we're going to see that that has 76 native. Like, that's nuts. Um, he also gets it, the magic resistance and the spirit from uh, Freezes, the new Esper that came out, which is a very, very uh, interesting unit, uh, Esper, just like um, Titan. Titan also has spirit uh, to add, just like 
how defense is added with um, Death Machine and Golem. So it's a very interesting Esper to add on to him. And then I added some other items that give Spirit some critical damage and some speed because we want to get him to be fast enough to actually get into battle, you know, uh, to actually get into the, you know, taking the hits. So I think this is like a good unit to compare to. We, we should be seeing these type of reigns a lot, especially if he's trying to tank against magic users. Okay, so the first one we're gonna take a look at is using Hazard Slash with um, Elshura. So Elshura basically has kind of like, what I would say maybe isn't the best, but you, what is like non-limited and what you would normally put on her, which is Bahamut. And with Bahamut and the Galmia Cloak, she gets $27.99. Whereas with the extra spirit penetration, getting her up to 60 spirit penetration, she gets 3,304, so that's about a 500 difference. So that's actually quite large, um, especially if we're talking about percentages. Uh, that's, I mean, that's half of, uh, of uh, Rain's HP almost. Um, so it's actually quite a useful skill. That being said, Hazard Slash is a slashing ability over magic, so it does bypass that. So you can almost take it as a wash, but at the same time, you can kind of see that even though Galmia gives plus 30% magic, the Silver Rim Glasses, uh, which give an extra Spirit Penetration, work really well against Rain. The next one we want to look at is more. More, we're going to go with Jamming Thrust plus Heart Like Needles. So in both cases, they have Heart Like Needles, and then we're just getting a little bit of an extra 20 boost with his, the Silver Rim Glasses. And we can see that there's also a difference of about four or 500. And we see that, like, because of that lack of spirit penetration compared to others, it's not going to be as strong, even though she's a water unit. And I did not build Rain to be water resistant. Uh, he's just AoE resistant. He's just um, very magic resistant. And he, she only gets to about 2,000 with this difference. But we can see that there is a difference, and it's not negligible. Where we see where there is a small difference and it's not quite negligible, but we can see that the magic penetration uh, that you get from, and the magic up basically, from the Soul of Thamasa is showing that it's a lot better uh, against rain especially. So we're using Jammer Thrust again. Uh, we don't use any magic buffs on him because normally while he does have like a magic uh, buff up ability, he may not necessarily use it. He may use Drain Evocation beforehand. It really depends on how you use it. So we're just going to assume, you know, just throwing a Jamming Thrust. Uh, we see that there is a small difference, and it's clear that the Soul of the Mass is better in this case, just because uh, Rain has such high magic resistance. So this is a case where the Soul of the Mass uh, will be better. If we tried the Galmia Coat, even though like, at one point, Howlett had the highest magic in the game. I think that it would still show that the Silver Room Glasses would be better. Um, but the Soul of the Mass in this case is a little bit stronger. Finally, the last unit we want to talk about, like I said, the unreleased unit that may come. Keep in mind, she may be one, a level 120 when she actually does come out. I gave her a bunch of magic attack because there is like one fire um, VC which could work with her and to give her a little bit extra magic percentage. Uh, but I think that it's just not quite as good as this card uh, giving magic attack plus 35. Um, so if we compare them though, it's very small difference. Um, she does not hit very hard. She needs more um, spirit penetration it would be my guess uh, because she does lose it with um if we compare to uh, let's see yeah if we could actually i don't know why she has plus i'll need to cut that out okay so finally the last one is uh ketone ketone barely gets anything out of it unfortunately um she gets a little bit more uh the difference might be because she just doesn't hit very hard uh, especially since i'm comparing it with her limit burst it's a magic attack and this magic attack is just not 
strong enough, really. Uh, when she gets her level 120, especially if we compare it to her uh, more, uh, we'll see that you know there might be a difference in her attack power, and she might get something close to more Moore's uh, strength. Uh, unfortunately, her being a fire unit and the other one being water, you know those advantages show up. And the only other card I could think of maybe is a limited time card uh, that gives fire attack plus 45, which I believe is the Crystal Chronicles card. But I don't believe that is magic based. I'll have to double check that later. But I'd rather not use a limited card just to see like what you can bring to the table with what cards exist. So she's kind of weak for now. It still looks like it's leaning towards spirit penetration. Um, and I think as she gets stronger getting to the level 120, she should be doing a lot more damage, something maybe more relative to what Moore does. Okay, I hope that helped a lot. Um, I think like there is definitely use for this item, especially for Katadama wielders, uh, just to get a little bit more damage out of them. You know, it could be the difference of one extra attack against Rain, especially, or some other spirit uh, resistant units. Uh, we could see units like King Mont, who adds spirit to themselves, and we can you know see how this compares but i think the best one to do this with was rain and because he's so prevalent especially with king mod they work so they, their synergy is so good together we could just see how much damage we can do when we just are working with like a base rain who has just naturally high resistances because of his you know master ability and his passives okay uh hope that helped thank you and have a nice rest of your day